my god. We'll be staying here two nights now. We're off the black tar. We're going out back. Have a guess where it is. Room wasn't hot enough for us, so we're heading to the hottest place in Australia. Where do you think it is? Marble Bar. in front of us otherwise we're having beef tonight. <laughs> oh they're so cute. Have a look at him. Alright what do we got? 27 minutes to go. This this road's a hundred kilometers long of corrugation and dirt road. 43 degree temperature. We have not seen one other person out on this track. There's stations everywhere, had a nice little water crossing. It's been fun. I've, I've really enjoyed it. We've got 7Ks left until we get to the main road and then we're off this corrugation. Well, this part's not too bad. No, it, the whole road is not been It's gotten better. Well, there was some real some hard corrugations. The cars just, once I let the tyres down, it's just smooth sailing, really. And which brings me onto that Rebellion hitch. It's working absolutely perfectly on the off road off-road settings that we've been through. I can't fault it. Yeah, the um, cushioning. Yeah, you really yeah. feel, you don't feel that jolting. The cushioning of that, the rubber that's in the, which I'll show you guys, I'll do a little, I'll, um, you know, speak a bit more about it, but there's a little rubber cushioning part in there and that makes a hell of a difference. And it's gonna take a very long time to wear that out. But anyway, we're looking forward to getting into camp got no idea what it's going to be like apart from there's a, a river there yeah there's a river there yeah. well it's called the campsites something something pool okay. we'll get back to you it's a it's a pool we don't know if there's crocs there no idea uh we'll be croc wise and check it out before we go jump in the water we'll just see if anyone else is in there
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time for a hydrolyte to then dehydrate. Safe, safely got here. We had no idea what that road was going to be like. Laura asked at Sand, Sandfire Roadhouse what the road was like, that, that one we just talked, which I can't remember the name of it, but we'll put it up in the description here. Four Line Road, I think. Four Line Road. Um, so we tried to t take all the right measures and not just take a road for the sake of taking it. We knew there hasn't been a lot of rain around, so they didn't get a lot of rain from that cyclone, which is good. But the roadhouse had no idea. She said, oh look, we haven't, I haven't driven it for a while. Have you got a four wheel drive? That was all that was all we got. The start of the road felt a bit sandy, I got a little bit concerned, I must admit. But then it sort of just went into corrugations, really hard base, so I thought, no, nah, we're right. And I could actually see some other tire marks going through there, which would look quite fresh. So I was pretty confident we'd get through. Had no idea there was a water crossing, but never nevertheless we made it. Anyway, this is our this is actually our type of traveling it's just going somewhere where you've never been before you haven't heard much about it and you're off the beaten track a little bit so it's a little bit daunting at the same time but exciting because you see new things like we're driving through some, through some amazing gorges at the moment that we've never seen before not on YouTube or anything um, <clears throat> so you know all oh, Broome and Exmouth and all those destinations are great but sometimes it's good to get off the beaten track and go inland and just check other places out. Yeah. Because you'll be surprised. Well, we made it. Tourist Park, Marble Bay. Welcome to the hottest town in Australia. Hot cocoa. It's a pretty good dog friendly park. Um, the owners are quite nice. And it's $45 for a powered site, which, let's be honest, we need that aircon cranking. Even though we've been up in Broome for so long, it's a different type of heat. It's not as muggy, that's for sure. Is it, though? It's not muggy, it's just hot, 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 yeah. dry heat. If you're in that sun, even it's like 5.30 tonight, and you're in that sun, it just smashes you. Anyway, in times of like, in times of these crises that we have on the road, you just gotta get a cold jar. That fixes everything. tend to leave the Carlton drafts in the packaging because otherwise the lids can come off. And a lot of people say, oh, why don't you just buy cans? They generally don't like drinking out of cans. Have a drink, girl. Have a drink. Good girl. Just having a beer with Dad. Oh, she loves the grass. It's a, it's a great long drive. Oh, babe, you did a good job. You both did. That was epic. <laughs> Better than red dirt, isn't it, that one? You got green grass, girl. You got the green grass. <laughs> you got the green grass. Well, you yeah. can stretch your legs. Good girl. Alright, Marble Bar has not disappointed. Have a look at this dust storm coming. I don't know if you can see it. It's coming. Woohoo! And I've just put the Barbie on. Perfect. Oh my god. She literally come out and she goes, oh just let you know there's a bit of a dust storm coming. Oh really? She's coming alright. Welcome to the Pilbara. OMG, and I'm I've got to get this Barbie cooked. Can you it inside? No, it's already it's already on the go, darling. I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to grin and bear it, like Bear grill style. Holy shit. That's coming, that, that's, oh, we'll hear the thunder. 
Love it. This is living, baby. What do you reckon, George? Oh, he's going to get his washing. Oh shit, this has gone out. We got a man down. Right in the top. What a time to run out of gas. This is like storm chasers. Well, they generally they call it idiot chaser. Let's cook a barbecue in a dust storm. We're not getting a lot of heat. Holy shit, I'm gonna have to call it in. We're gonna go in. This is next level. Bids are getting flown over. Shit's happening. Come on! Not really done. We gotta we're half cooked the, the chops. I think the way things are going, they're gonna be medium rare. Shit. Cook your mongrel. Still going. They haven't seen anything like it ever. What do you reckon, Keith? Tell you what, it wouldn't surprise me if a tree comes down. level out of control <laughs> she walked out i could see this big orange like little orange thing in the background she walked out and she goes oh just to let you know it's going to be a bit of a dust storm I'm like oh yeah perfect just in time for me it's dinner <laughs> cook dinner, yeah. dinner and then it's just unleashed oh. like the wind here in western australia is oh, I see the bins are all flying out absolutely next level it, it just goes from zero to three hundred i know 000. it just from nowhere. <coughs> I feel sorry for old mate back there. He's he's in a world of pain because he's un he's under a tree as well. Mm. Well, we didn't expect this. Luckily, we didn't keep driving though. Yeah.
Good morning. Happy Saturday. <laughs> happy, happy work day again. Never ending. He said that traveling was going to be relaxing and fun <clears throat> and not stressful. We had um, we had a nice little track coming here to Marble Bar yesterday, which was corrugations, all the rocks and bells and whistles. And we pulled up and I filled the water tanks. We pulled up, had that massive storm that you would have seen, that was just out of control. And I'm like to Laura, hang on a minute, what's going on here? Because the back tank is empty. And remember how I told you guys how I put that shut off valve? So, fortunately enough, I did put that shut off valve in because it's obviously isolated the two front tanks to the back tank. So, what's happened is, I'll bring you around here. I went and checked it this morning, I'm sure. One of the hoses must have come out or something. But, um. A rock has smashed into that, that drain valve and uh, broken it fully off. So we're on the way here, we've lost a full tank of water. See, that's how it's supposed to look like that, okay? So that's really thrown a spanner right in the works because if that hole is not, I'll need to plug that hole up because I'll show you, I'll turn them. I thought I'll just fill the tank and see what it's doing. As you can see, that's not going to work. So just another day in the life of traveling on the road. Yeah, always have plenty of spares with you with this stuff. I'm gonna pull out, I'll see what I've, I've got left over in in that water bladder that I, I purchased, because there's a lot of fittings in there. I haven't used the water bladder yet, but that's just for emergencies. I'll see what fittings are in there, and then I'll see if I can undo that, put another piece in. But we're going to a gorge today, just outside of Marble Bar, and it's gonna have similar sort of rocky terrain. So, I put, I put pool noodle, noodles over every other fitting, just not those back taps. I'm like, surely nothing's going to hit that. How wrong I was. Never mind, we'll um, keep chipping away. At least the water issue is actually fixed, and that's the reason why the pump's not working, because air's coming through that hole. I was like, why isn't this pump working? And it's just, yeah, that needs to be blocked off somehow whether we put another shut off valve or just chuck some cork in there or something just to just to fill that back tank back up and then we're off free camping so luckily we didn't free camp last night because we wouldn't have had water uh, I probably could have plugged it up but anyway turned out well because that storm would have been a pain in the butt to sit through and try to fix that and cook dinner at the same time and how are you my love? I'm good sweetheart our drink bottles. Um, what's, the, what's the girl? Are we going to a special place? Or? We are. Yeah, so what? I've just got to fix this tank. How are you going to do that? I'll plug up the hole or I'll go and look at what fittings I've got left over in that bladder. Okay. That water bladder that I've purchased. Uh, it turns out I don't have that fit, that particular fitting to block that off or even a shut off valve for that end tank. So I figured. I did think about using Need It, as Laura just suggested, but that does take a bit to dry. We want to get going as soon as possible. So all I've done is I found a right size bolt. I'll put a bit of plumber's tape on there. We'll screw that in and that'll stop water coming out. So that's a good reason why you should carry just assortment of bolts and nuts and just different things. So what I do in the back here, I've just got an array of different nuts, bolts, washers, even wheel nuts, Loctite, just a lot of brackets, Anderson plugs, just a combination of different things because I guarantee you you'll come across something like this on your travels where you just need to do a quick fix. <clears throat> it's not even a major drama because it's just a matter of undoing that shut that shut off valve fully and just getting a new one and putting it in there or getting brass fittings for it it'll be a bit stronger because as soon as rocks hit these plastic ones 
See you later. fix beautiful like I said we'll just pull that that bolt out we'll get another fitting from Finney from Bunning somewhere and then we can put a shut-off valve back in there or a drain valve sorry back in business boy back in business Up. Aaron down he's, baby. He's given up. Okay, so we are we are on our way to Carrawine Gorge and it's something that Troy found while googling the best things to do in Marble Bar. So if we had known about this before we even came to Marble Bar we would have come straight here. This place looks amazing and it's sealed road the whole way in except for the last 14 K. So we've just turned off onto the um, full drive track and we've been told there's a few river crossings but we've crossed one already and there's no water in there anyway <clears throat> we've gone three k's in or four k's in and we can't handle it so we're putting the tires down because we've got to come back out on this road anyway to get back to the bitumen so coco's getting a bit upset she doesn't like the corrugations freaks her out so may as well just do it what do is I'll undo these So I'm just going down about 30 psi. Nothing too dramatic. The ground's pretty hard. Just as wide over those corrugations, a bit better. Yeah, we had them down at 30 psi yesterday. As a, as a fly goes up my nose. Oh, man down. We got a man down. It's good protein, sweetheart. Right. Who said go camping? You need your hair net. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> I'm so glad we came. Get soft. Let's get soft. Perfect, though. That is beautiful. I'll tell you what. If you've never been to Marble Bar, this is a bloody great reason to come. That is amazing.
we've come all this way, there's no one here. We've got water, we've got solar, and we've got a bloody amazing gorge. This is going to be stunning at night. And Coco can just be off lead and running around and jumping in the water. Oh my god. I don't think there's crocs here. Yeah, that's good, Dal. Oh, she's hot. She's hot in the flies. Let the coo out. Water! Water, darling! Look! Look! What's down here? Coo's come. Do the water. Oh, is that nice? Or are you going to be muddy? Not on mum and dad's bed. Just what you want when you get to camp, especially a beautiful camp. And you blow a fuse. The inverter's beeping its ass off, and then we find out that we've melted a fuse. So, anyway, Mr. Fix It is onto it, as usual. dog of ours is swimming within the weeds to find her ball and I'm going to brave the flies the millions of flies in this place to show you put my goggles on meanwhile have a look at this footage look at this beautiful rock wall beautiful the gorge dog. as long as you don't see any crockies no crockies in you darling Your ball. You found it? Where is it? That's what I want, a dirty dog. There's plenty of beautiful water to swim in, Koo. You've lost your ball, haven't you? Where's where's your ball? Where is it?
down the river to see Coco. Look how many they are. He's just making a right wall mess. I'm getting my ghetto get up so I can fish and not be annoyed by the flies. make sure there's no crocs. Yep. And? Looks like there's no crocs. Troy's set the reel up and the rod and everything. Oh, don't fall in, dog. We nearly had a man down. Now the wind picks up. Go that side. Actually the wind's better for flies. Oh, oh, oh baby! What? We're on! Not weed? Come on! Oh my god. Come on, darling. <laughs> it's recording. She's bent. What is it? Is it pulling? Catfish! Oh, that's no good, is it? <laughs> Catfish is Fucking no good. Hell. Keys, what's that got? Well done, darling. There you go, bang, five seconds. Oh, wow. That was fun. Okay. Well, it likes the bait. I think it's a catfish. It looks like a catfish. You've got spikes in them inside there. He didn't muck around, did he? All right, let me get the pliers. Well done, sweetheart. Good job. Kicking goals straight away. My bait works. All right, I'll just get back. And you didn't want to fish. It's a good sized fish too. Is it a catfish? Oh, looks like a catfish. Kiss well done, darling. Kiss. Well done. Get it, Grace. <laughs> At least it was caught on my rod. That's how it's done, darling. Okay, so what are you now? So who caught the baby cod, me or you? Well, I pulled it in. You hooked it. It was on. You, you got too scared. I think I won all. Look at that, that's a great, great result. Get your bait back. Yep. You All better, right. You better come down here because as soon as I cast it out, I reckon it'll be on again. Yeah, I'm just, I'll wait here. I've got the best seat in the house, though. Except for the flies. We've got a, we've got a dog in the water. Yeah, watch out, Key. 
There's a big catfish in there. Are you kidding? Ready? Oh, he's on! You're joking! No, you're not. I am. You're joking. Nah, oh, you still got your bait. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun afternoon. <laughs> Hot, there's flies that's just got no inverter. There we go. Coco! Coco, leave! Here! Come here! Here! Go, go, darling! Wind it up! Wind it up! Look out, Coco! <laughs> Coco, get, get out, out of the, the way! <laughs> <laughs> You've got it, darling! What is Woo! It? Little baby one! Stop, <laughs> stop! Bring him in! <laughs> what is it, Coco? Look at that! That's a big stonker! I got Have one! Have a go at it! Hold on, let go! Okay. The flies are bigger than that thing. Keys, look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, now you caught it, you got to get it off. Nah, I'm not doing that. Ah, just going to keep catching the same ones. All right, you can do the next one. Go, Dallin, wind it in! Do up your drag! Which way? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> stop, stop whining. Go now, wind. Ah, oh, flies. Oh, have I lost him? No, he's on. Is he? No, I think I've lost him. He's pulling. Oh, no. He dropped, he spat it. Your first one was the biggest. Don't worry, I'll get the big one. Oh. Go on the water, Coco. Okay. Flies are next level. You're on, darling. Get down near the bank. He feels like it's a decent size, this one. Oh, there you go. Shit. Get him up. Good job. That's the size of the one I just caught. I think he's bigger. He's not bigger. He is bigger. The flies don't help at all. Do they? Mm. It's really fun. It's a great place. Good cast, Al. You're trying to help mummy catch fish. Free water there. Ooh. Lift your rod up. <laughs>
Welcome to the hottest country of the land. The hottest town in Australia. It Literally. Ha it has more flies than I've ever seen in, in my life. Um, as you can see. We I, thought we'd get up this morning and come outside and nah. You just get attacked. Straight away. Like, they're not too bad this morning, but yesterday was just out of control. We're going to stay here for a couple of nights because it is bloody stunning. Have a look at it. It's super hot. You can swim here. What's the gorge called? The gorge is called Carawine Gorge. And, this is, and you camp here as well. So apparently, this rocky section is where you camp when you don't tow anything. And further up is a grassy section that you can take your tow rig to that's more flat. Yeah, it is It is quite soft here. It's a, it's really funny sort of terrain. I've never really driven on it before. Um, I shouldn't have any trouble getting out, but uh, beautiful spot to camp. It's only two hours out, outside of Marble Bar. Mm. And um, we weren't going to come here, but it was a last minute decision. I'm so glad we did even mm. like put the flies aside, how hot it is aside, because that is absolutely stunning. Yep. All right, before this battery runs out, we've got to go. We'll put all the details in the episode about this place and um, come check it out for yourself. Yeah. Make, make the detour off the coast. Dog friendly, plenty of fishing, catch as many catfish as you want. It's pretty good fun for the kids. So Swimming, fires. Get yeah. down here. You'll love it, apart yep. from the flies. Okay, See you later, we're flies. out of here. Gee, look at that back tire. Yeah, that's fine. Mm, I'm not gonna miss the flies. Next time we come here, it'll be in our winter. It's just, so. you can't enjoy it. Unless you come up with some sort of fly repellent that is top notch. Oh, we've tried everything. We've got every bit of un repellent you could, <laughs> you could ask for. All right, let's get out of here. It smells, and I don't want to look. And I said to you, look at that tire. That's not good. Oh, oh well. What did you say to me? Seriously, I said, look at that tire. I even filmed it. You'll see it in the footage. Now, listen to me next time. I didn't think it was that low. It Obviously was. It really was. Low. Look at, oh my God. We've done a puffer valve. Fucking hell, we will be staying here two nights now.